What's up guys, Craft Farms here, welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. As you can see, if you guys have paid attention, we got a little bit of gravel going on here, and if you look up in the top right, we are broke compared to uh, last video. Well, as you can see, we've gone and done a lot of changes. To start with, I have graveled. I've had uh, new gravel brought in for the whole yard, along with the driveway. Um, we moved the def pump down next to the main building. Uh, and then we've got the meridian auger over here. We no longer have any machinery back here at the moment. Um, if we go over here. We have the Westfield auger over here. We have at the 2410 chisel over here. As you can see, we graveled down this entire area right here. Uh, we got the Ford sitting here with the ABI trailer full of herbicide. We sold the Roscoe bins. We've got three Meridian hopper bins right here. And then we have another three right here. This one here is full of solid fertilizer. And then we have seed. And then we have lime in this one. We've got the pickup header, our swather head, our grain head, and our corn head sitting here. We've got four meridian flat bottom bins over here. Uh, these all hold 369,530 liters. So we got four of them. Uh, place down another Quonset. This is the drive through one. In here we've got our anhydrous ammonia tank. We've got our uh, cart for the air seeder. We got our Mandaco land roller. And then we've got our two Kilbros gravity wagons. And then we've put the anhydrous tank over here. So as you can see, I leveled out the entire thing. And we've got it all uh, graveled down. And then if we run into our shed here quick. <clears throat> we'll take a look at what we did in here. So I moved the hopper trailer here. Um, and then I don't remember how much of this I did on camera. But then we got the corn planter. And then we got the toolbar for the anhydrous. And then the drill. And then the uh, drive over hopper there. And then here on the side of the building we've got our fuel tanks. Uh, we have a total of three hundred and nine or thirty nine thousand seven hundred and forty six liters that we can hold in here. So a lot of fuel storage. It was it's very spendy to fill. Uh, and then we have the black tanks. These are our herbicide tanks. Uh, they hold thirty seven thousand eight hundred and fifty four liters. Uh, and then this one here we have filled with liquid fertilizer. And then, yeah, we graveled down all the way up here to the road. So a lot of changes done to the farmyard. Uh, a lot of very good changes. These are going to be very helpful to us uh, here this fall and just further on. And we're going to jump over here to field 50. We've got the International sitting over here with the Best Way Sprayer. And we are going to get rolling on spraying our field here. Because we do have some weeds in all of our fields. So we're going to um, gonna do some spraying today. And then I'm probably going to be doing a live stream to finish the spraying. Because uh, I haven't done a live stream in a while and um, figured what uh, better way to do one than to do some off-camera work. So uh, you guys are seeing this on the 31st of March. Today is currently the 26th, uh, the day after my birthday. So... Um, I mean, you guys aren't going to see this uh, after the live or before the live stream or anything like that. 
So the uh, if you guys were tuned into the stream, then uh, you kind of already know a little bit about this. I definitely dislike spraying oats fields uh, because you can never tell where exactly you have and have not gone. So it kind of makes for a pain to uh, spray them. But we're going to do the best that we can here. And uh, just, like I said, try and do the best job that we can from guessing. Cornfields will definitely be a lot easier to spray than uh, <laughs> these oats fields. But it's all got to get done, so probably should have sprayed them a little sooner. Uh, like maybe when they first came up, but so we're probably doing a lot of overlapping, probably skipping some. I don't know. Um, if we take a look here, we can see. Well, it looks like we're actually doing pretty good. A few little skipped bits there, but nothing too major. Which is good. At least we are getting the vast majority of it. I don't think... No, it doesn't show anything on the... PDA there, which is kind of unfortunate. It would be nice if it would uh, show something. But unfortunately, it does not. So yeah, we are definitely... Uh, getting somewhere on this farm slowly but surely hopefully after harvest we'll uh, make a decent amount of money and we'll be able to uh, start upgrading some machinery and start uh, kind of moving forward with that some more machinery and some more land we uh, definitely want to get more of more and bigger of both Ooh, okay we are gonna go through that tree um and that way we can just expand our operation as much as possible let's take a look here so we just got a little bit down there on the end that we need to finish and then we can move on to the next one on definitely helps that we can spray at a pretty good rate of speed I think we got a little bit more over here yet yep just a little bit in front of us yet and then we are done with this one So the nice thing with all of the storage that we have uh, now, whenever we're done, so say uh, we finish up spraying and we still have quite a bit of chemical left in this or in our uh, trailer, then we can uh, just dump it, you know, we can drain whatever tool we have back into the tanks for our liquids. And then we can also auger 
any leftover seed or fertilizer or lime back into our um, back into our bins. So it's going to be a huge help. It's going to um, be very, very nice having everything right here at the farm. We will be probably having the co-op uh, deliver a lot of it for a little bit. I see I need to fix some grass back there, but I can do that. That's no, no big deal. Uh, I did consider um, taking out a few of the trees in the yard, but... I think for right now, we're going to just leave them as is. Uh, in the future, um, as we progress and we change this farmyard again, uh, we're not going to change it for a while now. We've kind of got it set perfectly uh, for now for our operation. But when we get larger and we start having bigger equipment and things like that and we need bigger buildings. Um, we'll probably be selling off the Quonsets and probably that shed that we had, that cold storage shed that we have, um, and even potentially our main heated shop that we have right now, and uh, completely revamping our yard. Uh, it's a good possibility. So then when we go to do that, then we'll be cutting down some trees and taking out some stumps, stuff like that, graveling more of the yard. But for now, that is a ways down the road. We don't really, uh, don't really need to change it all that much anymore. We are set up pretty well. So definitely uh, liking the way that the yard is turning out. We're going to head over and do our uh, field 10. Which we need to jump in here and adjust. Let's just stop the tractor here. Um, okay, so this is planted in oats now. So we just did field 50. So rolling is done, those are done, this is also done, and we are heading up to field 10. And we'll see if we can't uh, get field 10 knocked out yet. And then we'll see maybe I may do a live stream or I may just uh, finish the spraying off camera and get us advanced into harvest because that is going to be the next thing. So then we'll be fast forwarding to August and then we'll be combining our oats and then our corn is going to come in October. And then it'll be very busy time. We'll be uh, up to our necks in field work. Hopefully, I know um, from reading in South Sask Modding's uh, Discord channel, uh, him and BC Bueller Modding are working on the updates to this map. Um, from the sounds of it, they're making pretty good progress on it. So hopefully we'll be seeing that update soon. And then we'll have the train 
uh, fixed. We'll have we'll have the ability to plant oats to make hay. Uh, we can make oat hay out of it then. So that'll be a neat thing to have. Uh, and then I believe they were also making a few other adjustments. Uh, I know one of the things that I read too was that um, South Sask is making it so that all of the textures that are on the map here, so like the texture that the main yard was uh, set to here, um, how it kind of had the dirtier look to it and all that, um, he is making it so that you can go into landscaping mode and paint those textures. Um, so that'll be kind of nice. You can, you know, redo your, you know, like if we had decided to go that route uh, instead of bringing in fresh gravel, we could have done that. So definitely some uh, nice things coming in the update. ourselves adjusted here we need to raise this up a little bit all right and away we go Get this field knocked out quick, and then uh, we'll be able to move on to the next one. Maybe we'll have one more video before harvest. Maybe we'll uh, do a time-lapse video on spraying our corn that might be what I do um, beans we have a lot of a lot of corn to cover corn fields will definitely be a lot easier to spray than uh, these oat fields are gonna be we can see the weeds a little bit better on that ground than we can uh, this here I would kind of like to look into uh, how hard it is to add the uh, function for precision farming with uh, sprayers where you can uh, purchase the function of spot spraying. I'd like to see how hard that is to add and look at maybe adding it to this sprayer here because uh, I do like using this best way. Uh, sprayer so it'd be kind of neat to have that added to it uh, then we can spray a little bit better on our fields um, you know especially like in these oat fields that would definitely come in handy we'd be able to tell much easier of where we have and have not gone and then it'll reduce our uh, losses on chemical We won't be wasting quite as much. And we're not really using 
that huge of an amount either to begin with, but just another one of those things that, uh, you know, with having that, it'll reduce our losses and it'll save us some money. I think there's a little bit more up here in the corner. Oh, no, we actually got it all. Perfect. Then let's get this thing folded up and get out of here and get to the next one. This is a very well done sprayer though, uh, by OS Farms Modding and Mapping. He does some excellent work. Um, one of his other mods, uh, the Unverfirth uh, Fertilizer Spreader, is something that I want to eventually get for this farm. Uh, then we'll have a larger spreader for our lime because we're going to l try and uh, stick to just spreading fertilizer or spreading lime with our spreader and then when it comes to our fertilizer we're just going to use it while planting all right we're gonna head north here and head up to the uh, other highway up there. Well, let's just take a look and see. So we're still at, oh, we're still at 72% for our herbicide. So we've still got quite a bit left. This is our turn. Make sure we don't uh, wipe out anything for this road construction or a car. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got to learn to share the road with the farm equipment. This is our turn, or no, I just take the highway all the way, yeah, right here, okay, never mind, I forgot that that part goes to the edge, I thought our hazards were on, apparently not, oh, come on, girl, you can get up this hill, there we go. Should have uh, hooked my controller up for doing all this driving, but that's all right. Still got to play with it a little bit more and get the controls set up how I want them because they're a little bit off yet.
get our last oat field sprayed and then uh, we'll call her a video. Deer will come running out of the trees. Shut our hazards off. We definitely have a uh, decent amount of weeds in our corn, too. I think another thing that I might uh, look into doing is maybe even just seeding with uh, herbicide instead of liquid or solid fertilizer. We might look into doing that, too. But let's get uh, this done. The only real advantage that we would have if we put herbicide down while seeding is that we wouldn't have to go back and spray. But uh, I kind of like going back and spraying, just kind of a, you know, it's a little more realistic doing it that way. You wouldn't really uh, plant with herbicide. So, I mean, it is a time saver in farm sim, but it is not really, not really a thing in real life. So, I'd rather uh, not do it that way. We'll stick to putting our fertilizer down with our planters. This field shouldn't take us very long either. Look here, yep. So far, so good. We're getting everything. This is definitely a very good sprayer to knock out the uh, acres real quick with the uh, decent sized booms that it has on it. And we're getting 
everything knocked out perfect. So we should be looking at a uh, pretty good harvest yield. Which is going to be a good thing, especially now that we have the uh, storage capacity for everything. We should be able to hold quite a bit. I think we'll start out, we'll put our uh, oats into those three meridian hopper bins on the uh, side of the Quonset there first. And then if we fill all of those, which I don't know if we'll fill all three and still need more room or not, but if we do, then uh, then we'll start putting it into one of the bigger flat bottom bins, but uh, I kind of want to keep those mostly for our corn because our oats aren't going to need to be dried at all like our corn will. Um, the corn is going to need the fans. So we want to try and keep that. Um, we want to try and keep as much room available in the flat bottoms as we can for our corn. Because we definitely don't want to throw the corn in the hopper bins uh, wet. And then it end up going bad on us. So we want to be able to keep it in the meridian flat bottoms and uh, put air to it and dry it. So alrighty folks, that is going to do it for today. Um, next video we'll come back and we'll get our cornfields sprayed and get that taken care of. So hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.